Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Morning hair, don't care. We are in an emergency situation. I got Sophie here. It's just Sophie and I this morning. Sam is at work. Gabby is at Haley's, always. All right, let's go. I'm gonna show you our situation. are wondering where the heck is Storm. He hangs out in this shelter. Did Whoa. You, hear that? you guys hear it? You guys see it? Look over there. It's pouring. You see it over there, Sophie? See how the clouds are going down? Okay. So we're not going to feed them yet. See, the there he is. Installed, feed the mares. All right. Sophie's got it going on. We're going to bring Storm in first. Okay. Because he's hard bound. Put yep. it in the arena. Okay. Then we're going to grab the others. Put them in the arena, then feed them. All right, let's do it, sister. Have or fun. Feed Storm first so he's out of the way. All right, good job. We should feed Storm. First. No, let's feed them all together at the same time in the arena. But then Storm will be at the gate, so we're gonna uh, feed Storm first so he's out of the way. Why don't we feed so them where we always feed them? Because it's gonna go the same way, anyways. Or do you want them in stalls? Today would be a no. Anyways, welcome to today. Basically. Come on. I looked at my app and it said it's going to storm until 9. It is now 8 a.m. It's supposed to storm. 8 until 9 and it's quarter to 8. Eight. It's quarter to 8? It's quarter, yeah, I can hear it. It's quarter, I can barely hear it. Ponies first. It's quarter to 8 a.m. and the storm is coming. Let me show them though. Can you guys see it? Look at Stormy Boy. I just love him in there. <laughs> He's such a baby. He's looking like, okay, who's going to get it first? Like, what's happening here? I better not get left out. Hi! Hi, princess girl! Oh, well, that was not, that was unexpected. All right, I don't know where your brother is, but you guys have got to go in your room, okay? Do you see him? Sophie and I decided to be super proactive. Get down here and get the chores done before the rain like starts. Because nobody likes doing rain in summer. All right, what it's are we like doing? Seven something. Yeah, okay. seven forty-five. Girls have to come in. It's amazing how things change when the boss leaves the the place. Like you never expect the people to step up that do Stay step up. Oh gosh, come on, little mini mini. You're yeah. coming in for tonight, for today. Good girl. We should put their hay and their food in there first. I think I feel like we should feed them outside because it we, looks like it's raining. <gasps> Is it raining? No. Oh, they're all ready. They're like, give it to me. Just throw storms underneath the fence there. Here, take it. Just throw it under the fence. Oh. Hi. Maybe the storm is gonna pass. Maybe the store will pass us. Hello, Chino man. Let's see if I can handle this. Let's just let Chino out. Up to here. Like, I'll put Chino's grain here. I'll let him out. Finn's gonna go with him. You go in there. Let me, let me put something on Finn. Alright, let's put something on Finn. No crazy business, you guys. We are the boss of you. Don't you forget it. All right. Okay. Chino, Chino, come on. Chino, go. All right. Get Finny's food. Before he goes under the fence. Yeah, he'll. Ugh. If anybody would go under the fence, it would be him. Because he thinks he can do everything. Yeah. I mean, we did make it through the um, through the falling down tree. <gasps> I saw lightning. It's fine. There's like a 2% chance it'll hit us. If you guys didn't see it, a couple of years ago, we went on a trail ride. And Sophie was in the lead on her steady steed, Finny. 
and tell them what happened, Sophie. So, I was going slow to see what was behind these tree branches. There's big tree branches. And then, so Finn saw the tree. I s didn't really see the tree, but then I saw it after when I was trying to open my eyes. So, Finn decided that we can fit through it. Yeah, and the branch came to here. And Finn could just fit right underneath it. Yeah. So I had to go like this. Yeah. She... Which I never do on a horse. <laughs> yeah. So that was the beginning of the hate for the whole trail riding situation. It was pretty scary. Like we've had some scary, the worst scariest trail rides of our life are the ones that I never recorded because it was so scary. Like I went on an adult trail ride with Stella last year, last summer. Oh man. It was like even Fiona came home and told people that she didn't think I would hear. And she told people like she was, it was bad. She never thought that like, we went with another lady who said like, let's do this. And we, she, yeah, was the worst. Like even there were parts where even she was scared. I was like really scared to take them on like a, that summer on the trail that was like really not that wide of like, ground for them to walk on but it was kind of like yeah then we went on a kids trail it. yeah we went on a kids trail and it was like this wide well a little bit wider and a drop off on this side so wider than that yeah the horse's hooves yeah the horse's hooves just barely fit and but i kept looking back at sophie were you in front of me you were in front of me i kept looking at sophie finn was is such a sure-footed pony i don't know if ponies are more sure-footed than horses or he not. He just doesn't like to get hurt. Yeah, like he literally had his head down looking the whole way. Like he he's amazing. And Kaylee's horse tripped. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I legit was freaking out the whole time. Like I just was sitting and praying. I was just praying. Just praying and Stella did okay. Anyway, there are lots of trail ride videos in our past. If you want to check them out, go ahead and check them out. I don't know what any of them are titled, but they're there. And some of them were amazing. Some of them were terrifying. Most of them were terrifying, which is why I think we should plan a trail ride before summer is over and take you and Finn to the place that Kaylee and Gabby go. It's literally just a road going straight filled with sand up a tiny hill that's just a gradual hill. And it's just a big, huge, wide road. I took Finn there before. I know, but it, it, we never went on this trail before. It was amazing. So I think we should go. Is Fiona going to be there? Nope. It's going to be just us. You can do it, Soph. I know then you can no. do it. What? Then no. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do one more trail ride before summer. <laughs> Always. I want more. Feel. So the reason he gets cut is why? Do you know the reason he gets cut? Because he's a baby boy. Because he doesn't... Move away. He doesn't move away. Like most of the time when horses are coming at you, you move away, but he doesn't. Another thing I was thinking last night, I was thinking like, okay, so we moved Storm out of the field that night. When we put Gracie in a situation where it was just her and the mini and she got really comfortable, she turned into a whole different pony. So what if Finn turns into a whole different pony because he doesn't feel... He's already turned into a whole Because he feels pony. safe. I know, he is such a different pony. He such a love. Again, I he... swear it's the clover in the field though. He's scared I'm gonna go like... Yeah, why doesn't he like that? He's scared I'm gonna go like this. Do it, let me see what happens. Then... Aw, he thinks you're hitting him maybe. I don't know, it feels like it's moving. Like, once the clouds... I, mean, I, can, I can see the sun. I can see the sun there and I can see the sun there. Okay, so. He doesn't like it. You wanna know why? Why? Because the farrier did this with his metal tool because he was leaning on him. Because he didn't do it hard. Yeah, but now he doesn't like it. No, so I now, think that, I think most I horses, think he's always been a little bit head shy. Something happened to him before. Not just because he does that, but there were other times where somebody stood above his neck and he got really stressed oh, out yeah. a couple of times, but he's better with that now. He knows and we're not going to hurt him. Oh, look at the bugs on you. Look at the bugs. Then Chino or Storm. Wait, how did he get cobwebs in his eyes? We Hopefully that was cobwebs and not dead bugs. Yeah. Don't just stand there. Get me another bowl. <laughs> you dropped it. I couldn't get it. <laughs> I couldn't get it. What's our, you want that 
All right, Chino Bambino, are you finished? I said we leave him out. I don't know if it's gonna come. So when I was in the shower, all of a sudden the lights started flickering. So if he said she could hear thunder, I couldn't hear the thunder in the house. Well, she's deaf. Yeah. All the birds, I don't know if you can see them, all the birds are flying away. Towards the thunder. Towards it's the... coming from that way. Yeah. I mean, we don't care if they're outside in the rain. We just care if they're outside in a huge pouring down thunder and lightning rain, right? Uh-huh. So we're gonna wait. Not even dripping. Not even dripping. Okay, so the storm seems to have passed. The problem is all the power went out. We lost power. So uh, we put the girls back out, left the boys out. There so doesn't seem to be like a big, huge thunderstorm coming. We cleaned the barn. We let the kittens out. So today, oh, see, there goes one there. Today, I blocked off the other door and I'm gonna let them explore the whole barn. Even though I hate having the whole barn closed up, The power went out even at our house? Probably. Anyways, I hate having the barn closed up, especially when it's hot and muggy out. It's kind of humid out right now. Um, but I want them to like explore the barn and learn it as their home. So even if it takes like a month, I'm gonna have to do that. 70 degrees. So fridge in our barn is so cold. It's just slightly less than icy. Wait, is that, pa is that fridge on? No, the fridge is not on, but I got it out quick, fast. Hi horses, we'll be back. What a beautiful sight. I have the oddest feeling that this boy's cheeks are filled with chicken food. Chicken food, look at those cheeks. He doesn't know this that we notice him. He came from the him. garden though. What? He came from the garden. Yeah, he did come from the garden. Every day they're waiting. See, they know they're coming out this morning. And then at night they wait at this door because they know I'm gonna bring them their treat. Like they know, animals are so much smarter than we ever, ever give them credit for. Two are laying, is my guess. Oh, well hello there, Miss Girlie. Are you actually laying an egg for us today? Actually, Sophie saw, got an egg yesterday that had black and white fur on it. So, let's go see what, oh, oh gosh, I'm sorry, but if you didn't stay right by my foot, it would be a much better life. Did she lay an egg? Oh. Hello, little chicken. I don't see any other legs, eggs. Sophie would go underneath here and, whoa. She said, get away from our egg hut. Who, has it been you stealing our eggs? Remember, everybody thought that she was a rooster? Proof, she's a hen. The power ended up going out and Gabby's away and so Sophie and I did, decided to do what every parent and child decides to do when there's nothing to do and there's no power. We decided to break out the Schleich, you guys. It kind of makes me feel sad that our entire channel was built on on shopping and Schleich back when we had nothing and we had to buy all the things. And the girls spend so much time and effort collecting Schleich and we hardly ever play with it. I feel like our life is so busy now with the horses at home that we don't really have that much time. And like I said, it's kind of a small house and it's hard to have time to, actually, who am I kidding? Electronics? And the internet take away all your time to just sit and play and do fun things. Oh, so Sophie's got her barn over here and she's setting it up. I know if you're new to our channel, if somebody was new to our channel, Sophie, they might not even know that you collect Schleich. The Schleich was your life for the longest time. We have a lot of Schleich. We have a lot of Schleich. Do you guys know that? Oh, oh I found a rider. Oh, we put the riders in the top here. Do you guys know that so we have Schleich? amazing schleich that people have sent to us in the past and we even have briars that people have sent to us in the past i don't even know where it's today i was looking through sophie's schleich and i found this girl is it a girl mm -hmm. i found this girl oh funny story that's actually not a schleich what is it it's papo i think papo or oh i think it's one of those briar horses a briar one but look it that's my dream Look at her, that's Stella. Did somebody send us that or did we buy it? I think someone sent us it. I think it is too. And you guys will all always be grateful for the people that send us their, their stuff. Like a girl one time sent us all her whole Schleich collection. Oh, and there are things, there are Schleich. Oh, that's Starboy. Yeah, that's Starboy. There are Schleich that we have in here that are from the 80s. Literally, she has nobody to play with when Gabby's not here. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys what we were doing in the middle of the day. You guys remember when I wanted a goat? And then Sam and the girls, did I get it for Christmas? 
Hey, don't eat my goat. Mother's Day, I think. Mother's Day, I think. I got this goat for Mother's Day. Isn't it so cute? Oh. Get this one anymore? Yeah, most of the ones we have you can't get anymore. It's an Icelandic pony. It's an Icelandic? Icelandic ponies, they're gated too, right? Are they gated? Well, what do you think you're doing? Well, I don't know. They're small, I know, but they're ponies. But I think they're gated. I had super yummy corn on the cob for lunch because who doesn't love super yummy corn on the cob? And I cooked an extra cob so I could share them with the chickens. Let's see if they like them. <laughs> oh, there's a fight already. <laughs> they do like it. These two are best friends. Those two are best friends. And then the rooster. It's like, yummy. It's actually a heat wave today. By tonight, by tomorrow afternoon, I can't remember. It's supposed to get nice and cool, finally. But today is scorching. Gabby's still at Kaylee's house and Get in the front. Get in the front. Sit in the front. Oh, Sophie's such a chicken. Sophie, you're such a chicken. I'm not sitting in front. She's going go in the front because it's not safe. Unless you're getting me a puppy. I'll get you a puppy if you sit in the front. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Gabby is still at Kaylee's house. Um, they're gonna go for a swim, so she asked me if I could drive over her bathing suit. Of course, I'm gonna drive over her bathing suit. I also found some little cakes in the cupboard. I know she doesn't eat when she's away very often, and she her sugar gets so low, and she just gets miserable, so I brought a couple of those. Hopefully, she'll eat them, and so Sophia and I are gonna go and take her her bathing suit, and we're glad, because we were getting bored. We needed to go someplace. Usually, we lock the horses inside a field when we leave it's only 15 minutes away so half an hour and they have lots of hay lots of water it's hot out usually when they escape it always has to do with something last time it was raining so i checked them they seem okay ponies seem good so we're gonna risk it you guys we ready to risk it sophie are we risking it they're not gonna do anything all right you heard it there sophie said they're not gonna do anything it's raining can you guys see it we just took out of your bathing suits so they could go swimming and now it's starting to rain. And of course, we left the horses out. Oh, I see horses. And we said, oh, they won't try and escape because it's not raining. And now it's raining. So in honor of this heat wave, Sam picked up this little pool. And we're going to put it in the horse field. So it'd be good for the dogs and it would be good for the ponies. But we're actually going to put it in with the horses, I think. Are we putting it in with Willow the... Willow and Gracie, because I feel like they would like it more. I feel like Willow and Gracie would do nothing. I think the horses would love it. Horses would scoop at it. No, I think that they'd put their paws in it and paw in the water. Storm loves water. I think Willow would go in it and stand in it. I do not think Willow would. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's put this baby to work. <laughs> Look at this. They're already freaking out. They're like, what is it? Dad, don't get run over. He was... Don't get run over. Don't get trampled. No, if it started coming towards you, just wave the pool at them. They're like, help, help. What do you guys want? Look at them. They're like a little posse. What happened? Oh, you guys got muddy today. I do not like you getting this close to me. <laughs> and that's why. So they got rain done today. We sat on the porch today and watched them in the rain to make sure they'd be okay. The storm stood right here under this tree the whole entire time. And every time the other horses tried to get under the tree, he'd fight them. And that's, that's how they break out when the rain happens. They're scared. They get excited when we come in the field though. Storm's up there. He's excited. I think there's going to be some action. Some action happening on the day-by-day -day farm. Uh-oh. Ooh, that's not what I like to see. Storm. Storm put his face in already, you guys. He's excited. Got the peanut gallery over there watching to make sure it's okay. Storm's like, it's okay, you can come. It's happening. They love it! 
Chino walked over. They all want to have a turn, but Storm's not letting them. Oh my gosh, is he gonna walk in it? They all want to turn. Storm, let them come. Let them have a turn. Come on, Chino. Let them have a turn. Come on, Chino. Let them come. Don't run me over. Come on, Finny. It's okay. How much you guys want to bet Chino choose this pool? They love it. They love it, you guys. Climb in, Finny, climb in. Pen's gonna destroy it. It's like, I will eat you. So the cool thing about this little pool, it might not look like anything to you, but this pool could be so many things for us. It's already a desensitization tool. We can fill it with water bottles and walk our horses through it when the water is gone. We can use it for so many things. All right, here it goes. This is the time when they discover that they can swim. Come on, Bambino. Come on, good boy. <laughs> come on, handsome. Good boy, come on. Come on. Should we do storm? Finn's not scared of water. Can you go through the water, please? Watch out, Gino. Come on. We might have to do storm. Brave storm. You're not doing it right. <laughs> that was so much better, Sam. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nobody wants it. Let's see if storm is. All right, let's do storm. Don't you know that you're beautiful?